And welcome back guys. So right now we're gonna see also a playthrough of the 11 seats for one. So quite nice simple game and quite short. So let's just have a look how it goes. So you have all these cards and they're gonna be ordered in a line of 10 cards but most usually it will be two rows of five cards representing that line and that they're of course going to be randomized so uh, when you shuffle the cards and flip them like so now first thing you can do is uh, move one card to the front of the line and uh, if we do that let's say with this teapot so just make sure you keep all the cards in order you will lose one minute and here on the side you have the uh, timer so it's going for 10 10 45 and it's going down every time you lose a minute until it gets to 11 and if it gets to 11 you lost the game so this game is quite um, simple in nature um, basically you can win any game given enough moves but since you're only limited to this many then uh, that becomes a little bit of a challenge um, so the goal is pretty much just to uh, put all the cards on the tea trolley right here on the side so you can only put the card number two on the card number one and then on that on the top of number two you can put the card number three and you just keep going up all the way to 11 and uh, yes, so that's that's the goal. How you do it? Uh, you always look at the first card in the row, and you have three options. First options: if it is the next card, you can score it, so you put it on top. That's the first action you can do, and that costs you one minute. Second thing you can do is use it. So the card has sec uh, text on the bottom that's the action of the card so first you would flip the card face down use whatever effect it has and lose a minute and third action you can do is put it in the discard if it's in the discard uh, it's out of the game there are some cards that can bring it back but uh, for basically what you can do is nothing with the discards um, these cards don't cost a minute, so that's a pretty uh, important thing for the game, the strategy. So let's see a quick playthrough, and then we're going to enter uh, some strategy discussion. So let's have a look. So we already moved the number two to the front, because why not? That costs us a minute, and now we're going to score it. So that also costs one minute. When we do score a card, we have to do the action that's on the card, and it says flip one card face down. So which one would we like? So the next one we want is the three. This card says it cannot be flipped by the action of another card. So let's flip this one down. All right, next, uh, next up we have the number five. Uh, this card cannot be discarded, so we can't do that. It can be flipped by another card, but you can uh, use it even though it doesn't have any other effect. So you will flip it down, do the effect, which is nothing, and lose a minute. Next up we have 4, so we can discard the 4, put it in the discards up here, and we don't lose a minute for that. Next up we have 3, which is the next card in line, so we'll score it. And that says uh, 1 minute, and flip down 2 cards. So let's see, um, yeah, let's flip these 2 right here. Okay, so for 11, if we discard it, then we can score a card from the discards first, which is convenient, because that's the uh, 4. So we'll score that, lose a minute. Uh, 4 says lose 2 minutes, so we'll lose another, and then we can discard the 11. Then we have 8, which is no good to us, so we'll put it in the discards. Uh, servant, this card cannot be discarded. We can return a card if we flip it face down, or we can just flip it face down without using the ability, which costs us one minute. Now, the, all the cards are face down, so we went through the whole pantry, so now we have to reshuffle and set the cards out again. Okay, 
So as I said, when we reshuffle, we can pay one minute to bring one card to the front. Let's do that. So we pay one minute, bring the card to the front, this one, and we'll score it right away. So that's great. That costs us one minute. Okay, so this card we can discard it. And then we're on to six, which is the next card. The action says shuffle the pantry. So we lose a minute and we have to shuffle these two. Okay, so I don't know which one is which. And here we go. <clears throat> okay, so uh, servant, let's just do the same. We'll flip it face down, lose a minute. Score the biscuits. It says swap the position of two face-up cards. We don't, we don't have two face-up cards, so we'll do nothing. That costs us a minute. Everything is face down. We'll shuffle and put them up face up and serve it. So we can uh, flip this card face down to bring one card from the pantry. We'll bring this one. So this one's next. We can score it. And that costs us a minute. And that says put the card at the front to the back face up so then we can all flip this card face down and bring another card down so when you do this when you bring a card down you don't lose a minute okay we can now score this one and it says flip the next card face down we don't have any like that so we'll shuffle these cards put them face up this is the next one we score so we'll score it lose a minute that's the end of the game so we have zero minutes left and we scored the number of the top card so that's 10 so our score for this round is 10 and if you look here it says 0 to 7 points is you're fired 8 to 10 points uh, you risk getting replaced 11 is the uh, victory but the bare minimum so that would be if I managed to score this card last card and just when the time ran out so that would be 11 so that's a win but uh, it says you performed as expected but haven't excelled now if you have time left over one or two minutes that would give you a score of 12 13 and uh, you're rewarded with a half day off and the top score is if you have three or four minutes left giving you the score of 14 15 and that is the top score so 15 is the perfect score 14 is almost just as good now let's talk a little bit about strategy. So you have 15 minutes and every time you score a card, uh, you will lose a minute. So this is 10 cards right here. And number four card uh, makes you lose two minutes. So that would be 11 minutes. So you only have four minutes left that you can uh, use on other things. Um, so 11 minutes are wasted just by scoring cards. So you only have four minutes. Um, so uh, to score the top score you would have to waste zero of those four minutes so only scoring or waste only one minute <clears throat> so that's what you have to do to accomplish the uh, top score um, some things to notice uh, card 10 and 11 they're uh, pretty uh, great for bringing cards down from the uh, discards so you can discard the 11 to bring another card down uh, I mean not to bring it down to score it right away from the discards number 10 brings a card down right behind it and when you do that you don't lose a minute so if you have to skip the card 10 like let's say there's a number 8 in the discards and you need to get to the next card here you don't want you can't discard this one and you don't want to bring down the eight because you want to get to the next card you can flip it and lose a minute but you can also flip it bring down the eight and discard the eight and lose no minutes so that's one way you can save a minute uh, also if you have the cards seven eight nine in the discards and these two on the field uh, you won't be wasting any more minutes so all you have to do is bring them down with the servant and the eleven C's and um, score them so that so as soon as you pass the card six you're uh, pretty much done so all you have to do is get the cards from one to six uh, onto the T trolley with losing as little minutes as possible the biggest 
hurdle is the card number five because it can't be discarded and it has no other effect and can be flipped face down with another card so only thing you can do is if you're not scoring it is flip it face down and lose a minute so this is a biggest time waster so uh, you have to keep this uh, card you know in your scopes at all time so uh, let's see uh, also bring in the card to the front of the line every time you shuffle that that already wastes a minute and it's not always the best move sometimes it's necessary because there's no, nothing else you can do but waste a minute to get to a card but uh, it's not always the best move actually I think most of the time it's not so let's see with all that being said let's see how the game plays so we can waste as much time as we want on scoring but anything else we can only do four minutes but for a perfect game we can score we can only waste one minute so let's see if we can do it all right so let's do a cut and let's bring out the cards okay no nope, doesn't look good okay so there's the first card we need it's pretty far back um, so I think we're gonna have to lose a minute especially because the number three card is right here um, this one is flipped the next card then we can't do anything with the three so we have to go way back so we will have to uh, uh, lose a minute unfortunately so that's the only minute we can lose if we want to get the uh, perfect game so let's bring what, this one to the front and we'll score it right away so we already wasted one minute so that will also be one minute for scoring so we cannot lose any more minutes unless we're scoring the cards um, <clears throat> this card um, will discard it oh, actually th this one lets us uh, flip a card face down so let's do this nine then we can score the number three card and uh, that one says flip two cards so that will be another minute we flip two cards and I see already number five is right here that's gonna waste our time so let's flip two cards face down okay and now we come to the time waster so we have to flip it down and lose another minute so already that's not a perfect game because of the card number five <clears throat> all right next card four lose two minutes that's fine we don't care uh, servant so that's already bad so we would have to put this one in this card uh, we can't discard it actually yeah not a good not good okay so we'll flip it down that's another minute wasted uh, we can put this one in this cards and this one in this cards now we have to shuffle so the five is next so that's good so it won't waste us any more time but we already wasted too much time okay servant flip it face down bring a card down discard a card discard the nine score the five uh, that's a five this one nope we have to use it so we'll use this one we bring this one in the back so that's a minute we can now score the six says shuffle the pantry uh, let's see okay servant we can bring the seven down uh, score the seven it says swap the position of two face-up cards we only have one we can score eight uh, so that's pretty much done so we can bring down the nine score the nine uh, shuffle open score the servant bring out the 11 score the 11 okay 11 points so that's a win uh, we wasted way too much time all right let's try to get the perfect game so now we see how it works and what we have to do so let's just go and do it let's just do it a good shuffle Yeah, we just gotta keep a better eye out on the number five card. Um, 
we can only waste one minute, so we have to think things through before we get to the number five. Oh, I shuffled the uh, tea trolley, there we go. <clears throat> Let's have a look. Seven, five, there's the five. So we have to deal with the number five first. Okay, so uh, luckily the first card here is the number seven. It says swap the position of two face up cards. We can swap the five with the two. So that way we'll bring the two in the front and put the five in the back. So hopefully uh, we do waste a minute, but we do the same thing as bringing this to the front. Does the same thing and also added benefit of putting the five in the back. There we go. Okay, next card we can score the T. That's another minute. We can flip a card face down. Um, let's do the number six. Yes, let's do the six. Okay. Right, so we wasted only one minute and that's all we can waste. Everything else has to go to the scoring. So we will discard this one. Uh, then it's the servant. We'll flip it face down to bring the card down. And then we'll discard that card. Still no waste of time. We'll score the three. Um, that cost us a minute, but that's fine. Flip two cards face down. So let's do the 11 and 8. We can now score the 4. That costs us 2 minutes, which is fine. Then we can score the 5, which is great. So, right, so now we have to reshuffle. So far, so good. So uh, it's still possible to uh, waste time, depending on what we have at the front of the row. But uh, luckily, I mean luckily, if we get lucky, we won't have to. And as soon as we score six, that's pretty much the end game right there. So let's do that. All right, let's see what we get. Eight, uh, seven, six, eleven, and ten. Okay, so we'll uh, put the eight and the seven in the discards. Score the six. And whichever one comes out, it doesn't matter to us. This is the end game, so we won't be losing any more time. Here we go. So 10, that's fine. We'll flip it face down. We bring down the 7 and score it. So swap the position of two face-up cards. We don't have two face-up cards. That costs us a minute. 11, we can discard it. But then first we score one card from the discard, which is 8. That costs a minute. So let's place the card at the front in the back, face up. So that's the servant. And we can flip it face down to bring the 9 without waste of time. And score it. That's one minute. And let's flip the next card face down. We don't have any. So we can score the servant now. One minute. And it says bring a card down. We do. And we score it. That's a win, and we have three minutes left, so that's the score of 14. So that's the top, top level. So we only wasted one minute for not scoring. So that's uh, that's pretty much how the strategy works for this game. It, I have yet to score 15 points. It's almost impossible to not waste any any time at all. So yeah, uh, 14. Uh, I. It does happen a lot, but it, it all depends on where the cards are, especially number five card. So that's that's what it all depends on, how the cards are rearranged and where the number five card is. But as soon as you get past card six, you pretty much won the game. All right, so, so much for that. I hope you enjoyed this game. I really like it. It's quite nice and fast. So you can just play a few games whenever you feel like playing something and you don't really have to, you know, bring out the big guns you can just bring out uh, your little 13 cards and just play a few quick games and you know depending on how much you, time you have and it's quite a nice game quite enjoyable well designed and the cards are quite nice 
Alright, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.